Hey, welcome back to Ecom Edge. I'm Matthew Pierce. Today we're exploring one of the hottest topics in e-commerce, and it's data. And today's fast market marketing data-driven decisions can be the difference between thriving and just surviving. But how do small merchants harness all this power of data that's out there without drowning in it? To answer that, we have Greg Savano, CEO of Bias, joining us again today. Greg, always great to have you here. I mean, I'm super overwhelmed oftentimes with data, you know, mm -hmm. and I could imagine running a small business, launching a product. Mm -hmm. How does Bias make it easier for us all to understand the data? Yeah, so it's, you know, are, are business owners overwhelmed by data? Yes. Should they be overwhelmed by the data? Yes. Does paralysis by analysis happen? Yes. There's no question. It's a, there is an overwhelming amount of data in e-commerce. It's too much for any single person. And frankly, it's too much for any single team. And every little thing you add to your site is potentially adding to a little more data. So what's the answer to that? I mean, I don't want to, you know, go on the hype wagon here, but it's AI. It really is, you know, AI has the ability to look into data, very complicated data, and bring it down to our terms. And our terms means any business person. You know, you could just ask a question. So for example, yes, bias collects a tremendous amount of data. So you can analyze, slice, dice, filter, sort, however you want, whatever you want. It's always been the culture of us, of bias as an e-commerce platform, because we were, we kind of grew up in this industry of TV advertisers. And in order to say, I ran this TV commercial in New York on channel five at 5 a.m. on Saturday, um, did that result in any sales? You need a tremendous amount of data to be able to map that all together. So we kind of grew up and built the platform to collect a lot of data. However, as you start adding more and more, and you have all different social media platforms, and you have all different apps that could be integrated into a plat into the, the website, the data is overwhelming. There's no chance that you're going to analyze it. So artificial intelligence allows us to take all that data that we already had. We didn't start collecting it because of artificial intelligence. We have it, and then we point Bias Pro, which is our, our AI powered um, version of biased and you ask it questions. You don't have to understand the data anymore. You can simply say, why did my conversion rate go down last week? Hmm. Why did my conversion rate go down? Well, guess what? There's probably four or five dozen different reasons. Just oh, I could list them off the top of my head of why your conversion rate may have gone down and I could give them to you and you could go all through the reports and see if any of them are true. But if you ask bias pro, it'll answer you in about 20 seconds. That's amazing. And what might it tell you? What might be an answer mm. to why yeah, you're- Great question. So <laughs> this is a this is my my quintessential bias pro, you know, topic is my conversion rate went, went down, why? Okay. Um, it could be anything. It could be that your merchant processor stopped accepting American Express. Not all credit cards, just American Express. So it wasn't a big enough problem that you saw zero in sales. That's, that's a great problem because yeah. now you know there's a problem. This is one of those hidden insidious problems that you don't notice because everything else seemed to be working okay, but it just kind of brought your conversion rate down a little bit. And when we were building Bias Pro, we had a customer ask us that very question. Hey, conversion rate went down. Why? And it kind of went through the support system and people couldn't figure it out. Why is this going to have gone down? And, and nobody really knew and it bubbled up to me and I couldn't find out. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, I don't understand. I don't know why it went down. And I ran it through a development version of Bias Pro that we were working on at the time. So it was unreleased. I was like, maybe it'll figure it out. It figured it out in 20 seconds. It figured it out. And that's when I realized e-commerce is too complicated for a single person anymore because it was able to methodically go through everything and identify it. And it was the, res the cause of it was actually an A-B test that was running that I missed. I didn't realize they were running an A-B test. Had I known that, then I would have gone down. But it's so complicated now, you can't notice all of these things happening at once. So it's a it it's a it's a a game changer, really, when used correctly. And, and the other thing too, I always give this example. One of the most common reasons why something, why conversion rate went down is because somebody made a change. And that is a problem that biased is uniquely positioned to tell you about. So we could tell you that, oh, guess what? Well, Matthew Pierce disabled a promo code that was used 80 times last week. He disabled it on Monday. That's the reason your conversion rate went down. And that's 
that's most often what the problem is. Somebody made a change. That's amazing. You've been around for a while, Greg. I mean, bias has been around for a while, right? So are you continuing to layer on this new technology into the software? Because I don't think we would even have this conversation a couple of years ago. No, definitely wouldn't have. Um, And it's funny, uh, I'm going to wordsmith this a little bit. We did not layer on artificial intelligence. We rebuilt the platform with artificial intelligence at its core. And honestly, that is the difference. Most AI that you'll see out there is bolted onto their existing platform, right? They'll say, oh, well, you can, you have our existing platform, but now you can use AI to optimize your product description or optimize your page title or optimize this little pieces on top of it. But that's not what AI is all about. And the way I I explain to people is like, if you could do it by going to chat GPT, and entering in a few prompts and and having it give you an answer, and then you paste that into your e-commerce platform, that's not leveraging AI. That's just a cute little toy to to make your life a little bit easier. When AI has understands everything that's going on about your e-commerce site, every change anybody has ever made, everything that's happening with every app and integration that's being done, what it is you're selling, it understands the marketing copy on your site. It understands your products. And it's able to look at your products and say, whoa, that SKU looks different than the other 80 SKUs. Are you sure that's right? That's what AI is about, right? It's that it, everything's too complicated. Great. Simplify it. Let me know when there's a problem. Tell me how I can take this to the, the, the next level without me knowing what to tell you. That is what AI is all about. And that's what Bias Pro does. So you seem to have the uh, in the magic crystal ball that actually kind of works. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what is AI or what does Greg Samana say about uh, some of the new things that we should be looking at and paying attention to in a new year? Recurring revenue products. I think that is the biggest focus um, coming up. And there's a reason for that. And, and we've talked about it before. It's very difficult to get a, a new customer today. Thus, it's more expensive to get a new customer today. Um, there's a lot of noise out there to be able to be seen and, and engage that customer well enough to, to get them to become a customer um, is, is expensive. So once you get them, if you're just selling a single product, you know, you're selling a, I don't know, $50 kitchen appliance, and that's all you've got, that's hard to do. It's hard to build a business on that nowadays, especially where, you know, you could get knocked off by somebody on Amazon or somebody that's selling it direct from China, right? It's really difficult. But if you are a recurring revenue brand where you have maybe a supplement or makeup or something that is something that could be shipped every month, every two months, every three months, and you have that laundry detergent, literally anything, then the math fundamentally changes. And I think what we're going to find is that more and more brands are going down that recurring revenue side of things. It just, it just makes more sense the way the, the economics of e-commerce are working right now. All right, Greg, well, great to have you back with us. And we look forward to uh, continuing the discussion here on Ecom Edge. That's Greg Silvano. He is the CEO of Bias. If you like the video, leave us your comments below. Give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.